what's up this is unknown overland i'm unknown shadow this is albert this is colorado it's very smoky today i really yeah it's actually a little bit chilly this morning which is nice as well starting today off with a little bit of a ride to kind of warm up the engine so i can get back into the garage because today we're gonna adjust we're gonna take a look at the the clutch the stock clutch on the monkey is really really far out so when you kind of release the clutch or play with the clutch on a stock monkey the engagement zone is like really really far out when you when you let go the first way that i approached kind of looking at that was uh replacing the levers with these asv levers and that has definitely helped now the engage uh, that 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 engagement zone is a lot closer to the bar a little bit more normal feeling but it still left the clutch feeling pretty non-responsive more so it felt like on and off and you couldn't really feather the clutch couldn't really feel the clutch okay squirrel the clutch still at that point didn't seem responsive enough it just felt wrong so the next step that i tried was uh i went in and i had replaced the clutch springs with 60 percent stronger springs and at the same time i also put in a lifter plate and that has made it so much better it, it, the clutch is a lot more responsive it's a lot more normal well one thing that people have pointed out in previous videos is that the when i when i go to shift it still sounds like the the engine is kind of bogging down is that is that now I know part of that is, you know, whether or not I, I, I feather the clutch a little too much. I don't work on that. I'm kind of used to bigger bikes with uh, slightly more expensive clutches, I believe. So but one thing that I also want to take a look at is opening up that side cover, taking a look at how the clutch plates, the lifter, the springs are, are kind of dealing after being in there for, you know, probably 800 miles or so. But then what I also want to do is I picked up a set of aftermarket clutch plates. My plan is to kind of pop those in, replace the, the stock clutch plates, and then we'll see how everything handles after that. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's just get back to the garage. the install was pretty easy. I was replacing the, the stock uh, five disc clutch pack with a Sex Machine Racing uh, six disc clutch pack. The goal there being that they have a little bit different, uh, a little bit different material, something a little more grippy. Um, the, the more discs allowing it to kind of compress a little bit harder maybe faster but for the most part everything was you know just plug and play i needed to pull off the side cover and kind of everything else that's in, involved in that with the Kataka side cover and the the external oil cooler but once all that was done it was relatively easy i did notice in the manual it had a uh what did they call it a, a gear lock or gear or something which effectively was just a tool to shove in between the gears. I don't quite have that tool, but uh, a washer worked. But really, you know, all you do is go in there, kind of take the clutch pack off, take the, the oil galley that's underneath it off as well, take it apart, um, pull the clutch discs out. It was interesting to see just a little bit of the extra material on the side of the that kind of come off of the the stock clutch It's not too shocking. I mean its job is to sit there and rub against each other, so But once I kind of got everything back into the clutch bowl It all went together pretty smoothly 
one thing to kind of watch out for is making sure to line up the ridges along the side just to make sure that that clutch um, kind of the lifter plate and everything kind of puts back pushes back together but once that's on there it was easy enough just put the side back on uh, kind of put everything back together and put some oil in the bike and now I'm just out for a ride kind of testing it out First off, also making sure that the bike is actually running again and oil is staying where it's supposed to stay. Off the bat, I am noticing that the clutch is is definitely a lot kind of, I guess, stronger. Part of that is the discs, the, the clutch discs in there are brand new, so some of it's going to kind of have to work itself out and I'm going to have to play around with that. I do have trouble getting into neutral. Um, but we'll see how that goes over time. I'm not going to go for a very long ride. Mostly I just want to make sure that everything is working. Seeming good. Not smoking. Well, smoking more than it's supposed to. It's always a little nerve wracking right after that. Right after you put everything back together. get you home and fix that. The clutch link is uh, not quite staying put. It could be either that I didn't tighten it down or something else, but gotta head back first. So yeah, as it stands, I don't have a clutch. Pull into my trusty parking lot and kind of glance at everything and then See how it all looks. Like right now, yeah, I'm having issues getting into neutral until it kills itself. I'll have to look into that. Link is staying there. No leaks here. The level's not too bad. faster and catching there which is exactly what I was hoping for I need to keep an eye on the whole unable to get it in a neutral thing that could just be because I don't have it dialed in quite fully on the, the clutch pull it's giving me a little bit of problems earlier but I think if I just kind of tighten that down a little bit and get it closer to where it needs to be I think that'll be just fine but for now that's all I have this week. I'm going to keep an eye on this kind of the clutch and how everything's handling. But overall, I'm definitely happy with this change. I don't see anything miraculous coming from it at the moment. So I can't really say, yeah, you have to go do this. With the clutch lifter plate and with the springs, those were definitely like, it. you could tell that there was a difference immediately. Whereas with these, I think it's going to take a little bit of time whether or not it seems to actually work itself in. I have a few other things coming up. Hopefully some interesting cosmetic changes. Well, that's really all I have this week. Hopefully found something interesting. If you did, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Do those things if you like to do those things. But in the meantime, hopefully you're having a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.